Welcome to this video. In our previous video, we learned the formula for finding the distance between two points. Today, we will see some interesting examples based on this. Check if the point A, 8,3, point B, 0,9 and point C, 14,11 are the vertices of an isosceles right angle triangle. Can you tell us what we need to do? Good. For this, we use the distance formula. Let's find the distances between AB, BC and CA. Suppose the coordinates of point A, that is x1, is equal to 8 and y1 is equal to 3. And the coordinates of point B are equal to x2, equal to 0 and y2 equal to 9. According to the distance formula, We get the value of AB as 10. Similarly, the coordinates of the point C are x3 equal to 14 and y3 equal to 11. According to the distance formula, we get the measure of BC as 10 root of 2. Similarly, can you find the measure of CA by using the distance formula? Perfect! The measure of CA is 10. If you look carefully, we get the values AB and CA as equal. which satisfies the condition of an isosceles triangle. But we have to check for an isosceles right angle triangle. Can you tell how we can check if it is an isosceles right angle triangle? Good! For this, we will use the Pythagoras theorem. First of all, can you tell from which of these three sides AB, BC, CA will be the hypotenuse? From the measure of these three sides, we observe that the hypotenuse of this triangle will be BC because the length of BC is the largest. Now by placing the values of these three in the Pythagoras theorem, let's verify if it's a right angle triangle. If we sum the squares of AB and CA, we get 200, which is equal to the square of BC. So, we can say that it is an isosceles right angle triangle. Let's look at another example. Find the coordinates of the points on the x axis, which is 5 units away from the point 6, minus 3. Pause the video to solve and then check your answer. Can you tell what we have to do first? Right answer. For this, we will take the help of distance formula. Let us first assume that the coordinates of the point on the x-axis are x, 0. Here, we are given another coordinate point 6, minus 3 whose first point 6 is represented by x1 and minus 3 by y1. Similarly, the point on x-axis is represented by x2 and 0 by y2. Note that the distance value has already been given here. Putting all the values in the distance formula, an equation is found. Squaring both the sides of this equation, we get a quadratic equation. You must remember that we have already studied many methods of solving quadratic equations. 
Here, we solve the quadratic equation by the method of splitting the middle term, from which we get two values of x, that is, x is equal to 2 and 10. x is equal to 2 and 10. So, we can say that there are two coordinates, 2, 0 and 10, 0 located on the x-axis. In this video, we saw some interesting examples based on the distance formula between two points. In the next video, we will see what are the common mistakes one can commit while solving these types of questions.